Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhu narrates that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he sent Mu'adh radiallahu ta'ala anhu to Yemen, he said, Ya Mu'adh, O Mu'adh, invite the people towards Allah and to bear testimony there is no there is no God but Allah and I, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is the messenger of Allah. If they accept, then invite them that and tell them that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made obligatory uh, five prayers on them in the day and night. If they accept that, then let them know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made zakat and obli obligation on them, which is to be taken from their rich and to be distributed to the poor. Hadith narrated by Imam al-Bukhari. Now this is a very beautiful hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is sending Sayyidina Mu'adh radiallahu ta'ala anhu to Yemen as a teacher and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is advising him how to deal with the people and in uh, more versions of this hadith we find the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gives Sayyidina Mu'adh radiallahu ta'ala anhu um, different instructions in this particular version of uh, Sahih al-Bukhari, we find the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa emphasizing uh, two pillars of Islam, which is uh, salah and zakat. And the reason why the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa in this version is emphasizing salat and zakat is because of the vertical relationship and the horizontal relationship. So one's vertical relationship, uh, which is salah, is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and, and how somebody's attitude towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and somebody's relationship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the zakat is also a horizontal relationship our um, relationship with um, humanity our relationship with other Muslims so in this uh, hadith the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa advising Sayyidina uh, Mu'adh radiallahu ta'ala who is capturing both the macro the micro the, the personal relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and also the uh, um, the communal relationship with the rest of the uh, community and uh, we should take heed from this hadith inshallah may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide me and guide you barakallahu assalamu alaikum